the appointment committee of parliament has presented its report on the president's uh, nominees for the position of the Supreme Court judges uh, to the plenary. Only two of them have been captured in a report from what we pick up from the committee. It does appear that by consensus, two of them, Justice Frances Barbara Akayensu, has been uh, has been approved by consensus, and also Justice Samuel Kwame Adibu Esiedo has also been approved by the committee by consensus. Where there is some dichotomy of the sort is where the minority has raised concerns about Justice Guy Wu and Justice Comson, who uh, chaired the Ejira committee that investigated the happenings and the shooting of some individuals. Well, we do understand the minority has expressed a, a, a vast opposition to these two judges who they say have uh, not demonstrated enough readiness and uh, commitment to the questions that were posed to them at the vetting committee. This is what the, the minority side on the committee has been saying. We did not have uh, material disagreements or substantive disagreements uh, when it came to the two. The two nominees, uh, Justice Kumson and Justice Guy Wu, uh, in our view as a minority, um, did not cut it. Uh, we had, you know, uh, very, very uh, serious issues about uh, the way they handled uh, some of the questions that uh, were fielded for them to tackle. And some of this had to do with their uh, previous, uh, you know, uh, workings. We believe that uh, he supervised a gross miscarriage of justice, you know, in, 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 in the work that he did on that committee. And unfortunately, given the opportunity, uh, he did not sound very convincing with us. Uh, on Justice Gao, to I mean, among other things, uh, his his previous uh, active political uh, life as uh, chairman of the New Patriotic Party uh, of the constituency in the Volta region and later uh, candidate of the party uh, in another constituency. And the way he handled issues having to do with his bias uh, did not really cut it. So it's not just about the fact that he, uh, you know, uh, actively participated in, in, in politics. Well, whilst the committee's report is before the plenary, it is suspected that some fierce debate is uh, had on this by both sides of the House for a subsequent approval or rejection of the nominees. That's the four Supreme Court judges who have been nominated by the president and subsequently vetted by the appointment committee of parliament. They should be subjected to a uh, broader consideration of the plenary. And if majority of members of parliament uh, do not share in our view uh, that we hold so strongly, then so be it. But as things stand now, we think that um, uh, they did not convince us that they will serve uh, justice, uh, and they will do so manifestly. Komla Kluche, TV3 News, Parliament House, Accra.